How are you doing? Can you please tell us your name? Hi, my name is Sheldon Ross. And can you tell us your occupation? I'm a uh, vice president and senior officer at uh, Creative Printing Services. We're the largest African-American owned printing company in the United States. So uh, what did you think of tonight's performance with Earth the Kid? It was just wow. It was amazing. Uh, I took... Uh, I think a lot of personal uh, excitement and, and satisfaction in listening to uh, history be to he being told. I uh, was a history major at college, at Williams College, and uh, it was interesting just to be able to see her story and the road that she chose to walk and the path that she chose to walk on a road and understanding what some of the consequences were obviously of what, by being herself and also the ability to be able to reinvent herself and to be able to support herself over the years and uh, take her many experiences and communicate that. So. Great, great. Now, was there something specific in the uh, program that she said that uh, wrong with you? Oh, without a doubt. There's uh, the section uh, concerning uh, her in the White House, which is fascinating on the history story. To be able to uh, go in to the White House and obviously at a time in the 60s where people weren't necessarily speaking I guess they were speaking their mind, but not necessarily to the people in, in charge. And for her to say the things that she said, and what she truly believed in, and understand that those had some consequences, and you know, to be able to go away for six years from this country that she grew up in, and then come back and still be successful, just shows you how tremendous a person she was, and uh, what kind of character, but also what kind of ability and talent that she had, and it still was able to uh, translate six years later into something successful that we all enjoy. So. Okay, thank you very much for okay. your time. Nice meeting you today. Hi, how are you doing? Can you please tell us your name? Uh, my name is Jamel uh, Vaughn. Okay, and what role or capacity are you here with the History Makers today? I'm here as a volunteer today. Volunteer. So, why did you decide to volunteer with the History Makers? Um, I'll admit I'm not that familiar with the History Makers. I actually uh, came as a last minute fill-in for a friend who was an un unable to make it, but I must say I was blown away by once I saw the history, uh, you know, the, the, the film at the beginning about the History Makers and, and uh, I guess, you know, gathered a full, con you know, got a full idea of what it's really about and the purpose of the History Makers. I was blown away by the whole, the whole thing. It was amazing. It really was. It's amazing. So, uh, viewing, participating in the History Makers, would you like to participate in other future events? Oh, absolutely. Um, as I was listening um, to the people speak and seeing the film, I was wondering and thinking, what could I do to become more involved? You know, how could I help? You know, because this is so true. You know, our history is so important, and there's a whole generation out there that's just not aware of people like Eartha Kitt, you know. I mean, our generation today, they focus on, you know, these pop icons like Lil Wayne and Sierra and all these other folks, not to take anything from them, but, you know, what about the, the people who laid the groundwork for these artists today, you know, and that's why things like this is so important, you know. Was there any particular part of uh, the performance for Eartha Kitt that wrong with you? Wow, <laughs> the whole thing, her personality. I mean, <laughs> I see Eartha Kitt, you know, I, I think about Boomerang, you know, the whole Marcus and all that. So when she came out there, you know, and kicked her leg out, you know, I, I had a flashback from the movie. It was amazing. It was funny. Uh, so, you know, her personality, uh, you know, her, I, I, I mean, at 85, her sex appeal is, is truly amazing. Her, uh, she is a showman in every sense of the word, you know. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Can you please tell us your name? Robert Johnson. Okay. And can you please tell us your occupation? Uh, managing counsel with McDonald's Corporation. So, uh, what did you think about the performance for Eartha Kitt today? Uh, it was incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, she exceeded my expectations uh, beyond measure. I mean, I was just totally blown away. Uh, is, was there a particular part of the performance that really stung or rung true with you? I think, I mean, the interview in particular, I mean, there are a, a couple of points there where you could see Eartha reaching deep down into her past and bringing forth things that she probably hasn't shared with anyone, and it was a very intimate discussion, and I felt like I was really reliving her life through her eyes, and it was incredible. And I, and I learned so much about her that I just didn't know. I mean, it was, it actually makes me want to go do further research about her, because I mean, I, I feel like I know her now. <laughs> now, what, what does a history maker mean to you? 
it's, that's interesting. I, I was having a discussion with one of the one of the uh, fellow patrons here tonight, and I think it, it means two things. One, I think it reflects that you know history is being made every day by you know ordinary folks that are unsung heroes that we don't often hear about, and I think the history maker has a, a particular focus on trying to highlight some of those folks. And then there's folks like Eartha Kitt who are just you know larger than life that you know everyone knows who she is and. But everyone experiences her in a different way, and I think uh, the combination of those two uh, perspectives about the everyday uh, or unsung African American that is contributing to our society in, in so many unique ways, and then those huge icons that you know contribute in a, in a, in a much larger, uh, on a much larger stage, just shows the the vast um, the, the the many contributions that uh, that we make to our society. Okay. Ask us here. Do you, uh, what do you think the value of the History Makers organization is? It's invaluable. I mean, I think they're doing a phenomenal job of, of documenting our history, and I particularly like the, the approach that, that they've taken since we, as a people, have a tradition of, of an oral history. The, the idea of doing interviews, I think, just, it just further uh, adds to um, just the, the, the tradition that we have as a people in, in terms of passing our our, our history and our knowledge down in that in that fashion and so I think they're doing an invaluable service to our community and our country. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank well here let me give sounds good. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Can you please tell us your name? My name is Michelle Johnson. Okay, and your occupation? I'm a senior product manager at Motorola. Okay. And so what do you think about tonight's performance with Earth the Kid? It was one of those once in a lifetime uh, chances and I'm just so uh, pleased that I had the opportunity to uh, sit there and listen to her kind of uh, take us a walk through her history, her life and uh, have the opportunity to share that with us. So what is a history maker to you? A history maker is to me someone that can um, I think revolutionize the way things are in the world. Um, they actually put their footprint or their imprint on the world, something that they leave behind, something that people will always remember them about. What do you think is the value of the History Makers organization? Uh, to give an opportunity to tell the story. Uh, like uh, they had mentioned earlier in the program, that a lot of times that information is not always given out to our community. This is giving an opportunity for our people to hear the story, hear the truth about the story, and uh, keep us informed because information is powerful. Now, uh, witnessing events like Earth Kit, would you, would you, do you think that individuals should get involved with the history making organization in different capacities? Absolutely. Uh, this is something that I'm always interested in. Just personally, I do genealogy research, and I kind of try to tell the story from my uh, family, and I think that everybody should get involved, uh, find out the truth about their history, about the African-American culture, and about those people like Eartha Kitt and others who have um, Pave the way for us as African Americans. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Can you please tell us your name? Yes, I'm Joy Roberts. Okay, and your occupation? I'm design ambassador for Motorola. And what did you think about tonight's uh, evening with Arthur Kid? It was amazing. Um, I I had such a great time and. I learned so much about Eartha. I, I thought I knew about her history, but I, I, it just opened my eyes and it was amazing to hear her story and um, to just feel her energy. She's so excited um, about you know her past and, and sharing that with us. Is there any part of her energy or something she said that really rung true to you specific in the uh, performance? Um, I think um, the fact that she was really true to herself and really focused on not following everybody else's path but just just being herself I mean and and the fact that she didn't take herself so seriously that her her you know the Eartha Kitt um, side of her persona very seriously that she just was and she knew um, she was very grounded and she knew kind of who she was inside and that was amazing to me um, and very inspiring um, to me as a woman. How do you think that um, hearing stories like Eartha Kitt can add value to um, the discourse and knowledge that pervades our society? 
Um, I think it's critical for the stories of those who've gone before us to, to be passed along. I mean, we learn lessons, um, we um, can get inspiration, we learn how not to repeat the same mistakes. Um, and I, it's, just, it's just critical. I mean, when I was growing up, my mom, she's a science teacher, and she, and whenever we'd have projects, she'd always say, oh, well, don't do this scientist. Try George Washington Carver, try Jan Metzilliger, you know. Um, and I didn't understand what that meant at the time, but now as an adult, I realize I had this exposure to my, my history that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. And I think every family needs to do that. Um, and, and organizations like History Makers make it, put the resources there for every family mm -hmm. and every you know, school to be able to pass that word along. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. That was great also.